What's up, Nomies? Hello, is this mic on? This one's for you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Guess what I am? It will be easy for you. I look like a thing you put on your head. I embrace the wind so my headwear will spread. I'll change day to day until I am spent. Mighty am I creating a rent. What am I? Welcome to the Gnome Grown Podcast. I'm Tanner Prittis. And check out our new studio. We're here. We're doing it. Um, speaking of riddles, let's announce we did have somebody answer one of our riddles. Um, it was... Hold, hold. Okay, from YouTube user Equanimous again. They answered it correctly. The answer was Gills. I believe it was episode three. Um, so contact me. I've been trying to, me- I've been messaging you on YouTube, but you haven't re- reached out. So reach out and I will send you your prize. Thank you for playing. Um, let's see here. Another announcement. Uh, Lowenberger from Reddit. Um, a little tip from our last one, the liquid cultures that we did. Make sure that if you are using maple syrup, that it doesn't have any additives and try using honey. Um, It has natural antibiotic properties that makes your culture that much stronger. Um, So yeah, let's get into into it today. Uh, We are doing culture transfers from the spores that we uh, inoculated in episode two. So we have this nice little culture here. Um, As you can see, uh, it's got some contamination. So when you have a when you're using multi or uh, when you're using spores to to cultivate a lot of times there's going to be some contamination you need to clean up that culture Um, so we're going to show you how to do that so make sure you have a nice uh, clean agar dish and you have your culture this is super easy it's it's all about where you choose and what you cut Um, make sure you're being sterile as always see so we're gonna pull this off so basically you're just gonna be taking a small little piece of this culture Um, I like taking the thickest looking um, cottony goodness and as far away from the contamination as possible Um, and hopefully that gets you a nice clean culture that you can actually use in some grain or making a liquid culture or whatever so we're removing this parafilm and I was thinking about this while I was uh, thinking about this episode today. Um, if you have like an agar dish, sometimes there's going to be condensation. This one has condensation on it. And I'm going to open it upside down um, because I think if I, you know, if it like imagine this one had condensation, you would open it upside down. If you didn't open it upside down, then water will just run around all around your culture and it might like grab some of that contamination and spread it around. So. Just be aware if there's condensation in there, open it upside down. It'll probably help. Okay. We're going to open up this other one. Yeah, see, this guy's all wet. So, I mean, obviously, we don't have, like, sterile air running over this. That's okay. One of these days, we'll have a nice little tabletop hood vent all right so we're going to sterilize our tool get it nice and red hot cool it down in your clean agar dish okay so now i've got all these places to choose from oh i see this nice little thick spot right here so you're just going to cut a little wedge um, I like to do a fairly decent size. Sometimes I'll do bigger than that, but far enough away from the contamination that it should be safe, and it's the thickest spot. So when you're using spores, there's like a multitude of different um, genetics that are going on in there. So you kind of want to, you just kind of pick and choose. You can't really tell until it grows out what the actual genetics will be, but that's why we clean it up and grow it out. So that's it. That's all it was. You just put a little chunk right there 
on your guard dish, and that's it. You uh, wrap it up with some parafilm or whatever you have to keep it um, from getting contaminated, and easy as that. Uh, so you grow it out, and then you can use that cleaned up culture for, you know, throwing it into some grain spawn or making a liquid culture or, you know, you're storing it, whatever it is. So uh, that's it. So we'll check the progress of this um, in a few weeks. And hopefully we can follow this culture all the way to mushrooms. It would be great. All right, so again, um, let's get into uh, the giveaway. This t this week, um, we're doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a Cordyceps uh, Grow Kit. Um, so if you answer this week's riddle, you'll get a free Grow Kit. Um, submit your answers in the comments. Uh, you can send an email to us through our website. If you go to gnomegrown.biz and the contact tag at the bottom, um, you can send an email directly to us. So uh, submit your answer wherever you find us. Submit your answer there in the comments, Instagram, wherever. Um, so good luck. And I hope it was cheesy enough for you. Um, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, be sure to follow us on Reddit and Gnome Grown Mushrooms as well as Instagram at the same name. And subscribe to our channel, uh, Tanner Pritis. Check it out. Thank you guys so much. Peace.